Hi everyone, this is Peter with Wave One Marine and we're doing a video tour and sea trial on this 2005 Triumph 210 Center Council. Uh, it's for sale here in Delray Beach, Florida. We have a clean Florida title for it. It's going to be coming with the Florida title and a bill of sale on the trailer. We don't have any additional paperwork for it for the trailer, so we will be giving you a bill of sale and the title free and clear for the boat. Uh, we're going to do a walk around for those of you that are far away considering this boat to try to show you all the good things about it and any imperfections on it so that you can make a good sound decision on this vessel. It's a beautiful boat and it runs great. It's got a Yamaha 150 two-stroke carbureted engine, which we'll show you with 120 PSI compression on every cylinder. It runs real nice. We'll put it in the water here in a little bit and take you on a tour. Uh, a big thing is the trailer. You have a nice aluminum trailer that comes along with this boat. It's included, as we said, and it's got newer tires, nice galvanized wheels, uh, the hubs were recently done on it, so for those of you that are far away, a lot of people just think about that the boat that they're purchasing and they forget about how important the trailer is. This one has nice LED lights and as we go up to the front it has a two inch ball, uh, nice roller that was redone recently, you can tell in good shape. A lot of trailers of this vintage you're going to need to put a lot of work into and it can be a real headache if you don't know what you're buying. This trailer is in very nice shape. We towed with it recently and it tows very nicely down the road. It does have a tiny bit of rust in some of the spots on the brackets and the springs have a tiny bit of rust, but the hubs are recently done. The axles are in excellent condition. The tires are in great shape. There's no dry rot. They still have the nubs on the outside of the tires and they're in very good shape. LED lights are working on the trailer, so it's good to go if you're gonna tow it up north or something like that. All right, so going around the boat, this is a Triumph 210 Center Council. These are fantastic boats. I've owned two of them here at the dealership, and they're just good boats, number one, because they're 100% composite. They're made out of a material called ropaline, which if you look at the advertising material on these boats, it's basically indestructible. You can hit these things with a sledgehammer, apparently, on the side, and they won't ding or dent. So if you're looking for a boat that's tough, that you can take out, that you don't have to worry about the stringers, the transom, and the decks rotting at any point in the lifetime of this boat, this is one to seriously consider. That's a big selling point on this boat, is that it will never rot, it's never gonna fall apart on you. It's 100% composite. All right, let's start up at the front here, and you'll see that the rub rail on this boat's in very nice condition. There's an anchor roller in the front, it has navigation lights, which we've tested. They work nice stainless cleats, a beautiful bow rail that's not bent or anything like that. It's in very nice shape. The hull has very nice luster on it, be it that it's not a fiberglass boat. Like I said, it's ropaline and it's in very nice shape. As far as dings going down the side, there's a little nick in the hull down here in the bottom. The rest of the bottom of the boat's in excellent condition. Doesn't look like it's ever been, you know, beached or anything like that. It's in very nice shape. The sides are good. The decals have a little bit of here and there, not a big deal, just cosmetic stuff. Again, this is a 2005 model year boat. You're gonna see it shows very nicely. There's a few bugs that are landing on the boat, excuse us. Has nice rod holders in the side. Again, maybe a little scratch right here, very minor going around the side. No, you know, chunks or anything like that missing. No major cracks or anything like that. The back of the boat is in very nice shape. Again, it's a 2005 model year. It's got nice D-rings on it for those of you that want to tow or tube or pull a skier behind it. Those are great for that. You hook a bridle on one side and then the other. It comes around the engine so it doesn't catch the prop or anything like that. You can tow tubes behind this boat really nice. It's got plenty of power with the 150 as you'll see. We'll put it in the water and see you trial it. It's got a brand new 7 inch Simrad touchscreen display with a chirp transducer. Super high end right there. That's a really nice transducer and it's hooked up to that fish finder that's up in the console and we'll show you that. It's also a GPS, it's very nice. The engine has excellent luster for a 05. You see a lot of these get faded and they're in nasty shape. We'll take a look under the cowling in just a second, but you can see the paint going all the way down to the skeg is very nice. The propeller, excellent condition. You can see it's very nice. There's no dings or dents, stuff that you'd normally see in it. 
and also the trim tilt system when you look in here a lot of times you'll see corrosion in these trim and tilt systems and this one is just extremely clean underneath so you can tell this boat was never kept in the water it's always lived on the trailer what have you like that so it's in excellent condition i mean the skeg guys if you look at most boats it this is in wonderful shape there's really not even a ding or anything that's beautiful really nice coming around this side you have a nice boarding ladder with swim step three step telescoping ladder that works very nice it's great for when you're getting in and out of the water moving around the port side a little rash in the decal here very minor little nick up here the decals have a little bit of wear in them but again you know quite nice for an 05 Tires look great on the trailer on this side, moving up, nice sheen in the hull still. You can put more polish on this if you like, but these hulls are very sturdy boat. I mean, when you hit the sides of this thing, guys, I mean, you don't hear it. I mean, they're rock solid, very nice, well built. Triumph does a very nice job with their boats in my experience. I've owned a few of these and they just, they surprise people with how good they are. Going around the front, nice deep V in the front. There's a little, uh, little nick right here. Again, we're nitpicking a little nick right here. None of these are big deals, you know. Going around the front. Nice deep V in the front. Excellent. So you can see, guys, for a 2005 model year boat, it's just a good looking boat. And this one does come with the T-top option. A lot of these only had a bimini top. So this one does have the optional T-top, which is very sturdy as well. All right, we're gonna jump up inside the boat. I'll walk you around there and show you all the details of the interior of the boat and then we'll look underneath the cowling and then we'll put it in the water and take it for a nice run all right guys we're up inside the boat let's start here at the rear of the boat we have jump seats on both the port and starboard side nice splash well keep all the water out some of these are open backs this one is not so it's got a nice enclosed splash well these seats are very comfortable and underneath there's nice storage space here Lots of storage underneath on both the port and starboard side. And this is where your oil tank is, your reserve oil tank. And it does have a gallon of extra Yama lube in there, the top of the line oil for these engines. So this is an oil injected engine, meaning you don't have to add oil to the gas, which is a nice perk. It mixes it automatically for you. So you don't have to get your hands dirty or anything like that. Very nice. Going around the back, really cool boat. You'll see it's got that modern look to it with the gray floor it's got the nice big fish boxes on the port and starboard side as you'll see here very nice um, the gasket just popped out there that goes right back in that's not a big deal uh, nice dual captain's chairs one thing i'd like to add is there's fish rod storage on the port and starboard side as well we do not have uh, the cushions for the boat so the boat will come as you see here in the video which is fine. You can see there's plenty of space. You can put a towel down in the chair, very comfortable. And it's very easy to clean this way. Okay, we don't have the cushions, as you can see here. Rod holders throughout the boat, and this is set up also for outriggers. If you'd like to have gunnel mount outriggers, you just buy the poles and you can put those out for fishing. Stainless gas fill, nice stainless cleats. These are very large cleats. They're excellent. You can put half inch lines on this boat, no problem. That's what we're using. Uh, more fish box storage. If there's one thing this boat has, it's a lot of storage. So you got huge fish boxes here, here, uh, fish box here. You got storage under the rear seats. You got a large live well, very large live well. And we'll show you all this working once we put the boat in the water. And this folds up all the way. Huge live well, actually. One of the biggest I've seen in a 21 foot boat. More fish box storage over here, as you can see. And if that's not enough, it's got this massive in-floor fish box here up in the bow. I mean, look at the size of that. And one nice thing the Triumph does is they put a grate in here. So when you put your goods in here, they'll stay nice and dry. That's a really neat feature that a lot of companies won't do. So they lift up the floor essentially with that grate and everything's composite. You never have to worry about any of this rotting or anything like that. It's in very nice shape. You can see this boat has dual batteries with switch, more storage up in here, very clean. Nice seating area if you like to use it for that. 
anchor locker up in the bow, come in with two nice anchors, one oversized anchor and a smaller one for the sandbar for a beach anchor. Nice cleats, navigation lights, bow roller. Really nice fishing boat. I mean, the amount of room, folks, up here in the bow for a 21 foot boat, you could put some bean bags in here. That's what I would do for the kids or for the friends. Those are the best seats you can put on a boat. Nice marine bean bags in here. That'd be perfect. There's so much space. Going back, nice helm area here. So you got your Yamaha binnacle control, a nice Bluetooth sound system. And that is a really nice sound system. Let's see if we can get it to pop on here real quick. And uh, it's got two large, two large eight inch Kenwood speakers that look brand new. I mean, they're really nice shape. These are excellent speakers. Uh, we install a lot of these Kenwood systems on boats and they are wonderful speakers for the price. They're excellent. You got two big speakers there and you got two more on each side and those look brand new as well. So that's excellent. Nice feature there. I mean, to install a stereo like that, as simple as it seems, it's a nice new Bluetooth system. You're talking a $750 install by the time you put everything in, maybe even a thousand. So that's a nice upgrade to have a brand new sound system in the boat. All the gauges are very legible all your 12 volt switches. And we tested every one of these things and they all work. Our navigation lights, our bait well pump for the live well, our auto bilge, which is in the rear in the, in the uh, bilge area, as well as a manual switch you can run. Courtesy lights are working on this boat. You have dual courtesy lights on both sides. We tested those, you have a working horn. You have a wash down pump to clean the decks, which we'll show you once we're in the water. Nice 55 PSI raw water wash down to spray the decks. So it's loaded up with all those features. This is also a tilt helm. I can't show you just because I'm videotaping, but you'd press this and you can tilt, try to do it with my knee. There you go. The steering wheel will tilt to your desired angle, which is a real nice perk as well. That's a nice feature. Up in the electronics box, we got a nice standard Horizon VHF. You get your weather as you need it and this super nice Simrad display. It's a 7 inch Go 7 unit. It's a touch screen display, super fast redraws. It's got all the maps preloaded. It's also got the chirp transducer which we'll test out once we put it in the water. But that's a super nice unit. Again, install one of these. That's a thousand dollar unit installed. Super nice with the stereo, with the Simrad touch screen display really nice t-top on this boat you could hang from this thing no problem very sturdy which is like like to see that and uh, the fabric is in good condition you could hit it with a power washer and maybe clean it up some more but there's no rips or tears that I can see and the stringing of the t-tops in nice shape as well so no issues there the rocket launcher good shape there you could put all your rods up there when you're headed out offshore and it does have your VHF antenna on a nice stainless mount right up there on the T-top. Super nice. I uh, must say, you know, when you look at other boats of similar vintage, 2005 model year boat, uh, everything is working on this boat 100%, which is really nice. And with the new stereo, the touchscreen Simrad display, and all these nice perks that you have on this boat, it's a really nice package for offshore fishing and just bringing your family out for a nice day on the water. We're gonna put it out in the water here in just a moment take for a run but let's take a quick peek under the cowling and show you everything there all right guys here's the 150 yamaha two-stroke carbureted engine and these are fantastic engines if you're not aware these are really the engines that made yamaha famous in the saltwater outboard segment and today as you know they're really the respected brand that everybody wants on a boat these are fantastic, and this one is oil injected, meaning you got that big oil tank I showed you inside. It's pumped into here, so you never have to mix oil with the gas. This one's in very clean condition. I mean, if you look at the heads and everything, this one also had recent service, it's pretty apparent. The plugs are look like they're brand new. We did pull all the plugs and do a compression test, which is the most important sign of health other than running it well and each one of the cylinders has 120 psi compression which is the same as brand new so as far as we can tell underneath the cowling and you can see here there's really no serious corrosion or anything like that it looks like it's an amazing shape for the model year of engine here so it runs really well as you're going to see when we put it in the water also 
So really nice engine, and again, the paint on the engine is very nice. The propeller looks to be in fantastic shape, almost brand new. The lower unit looks great. We did check the lower unit oil, no issues there. And the cowling paint is in excellent shape as well. There's a very nice shine on the cowling, no issues there. So overall, very nice underneath the hood. You gotta like what you see. We also took the uh, fuel filter that's in the hall. We dumped that and there was no water or any debris or anything like that. So the fuel is really good. Also, the boat has a poly fuel tank instead of a metal one. So you don't have to worry about it corroding. So just a really good boat. If you're looking for something that's low maintenance that you're not gonna have to worry about transoms rotting, you're not gonna have to worry about fuel tanks rotting, you got a good trustworthy Yamaha engine with perfect compression and nice upgrades, a GPS, a Bluetooth stereo system that sounds amazing. Just an awesome fishing boat for friends and family. And it's coming with a nice roadworthy trailer with LED lights. Just a sweet package. All right, we're gonna put it in the water now, take it for a run, show you how she performs, and we'll see you there next. Hey right, guys, we're on the water. I'm gonna do a quick sea trial, but real quickly first, I'm just gonna show you the bait well since we're in the water kicking on big large bait well in there very nice big circulatory fashion to keep the bait fish fresh I like that nice design that's our bait well and then we also have our wash down pump right here on the side which once it primes up here it gets out of there you got a 55 psi raw water wash down you plug your hose into that and you're good to go so everything working there and as we mentioned depth working good on that chirp transducer as well this is a beautiful unit all right so here we are let's fire her up and let's take her for a spin yamaha carbureted two-stroke very easy once they're warmed up uh, they're a little cold-blooded at first, but just with the uh, manual and electric choke that's on this, really just takes a crank or two, even cold, to fire it up. And once they're warmed up, you can see very easy to start, and they run great. People think that these engines, the two-strokes, are smoky, but I'll tell you what, a nicely tuned two-stroke really doesn't smoke much at all. Because they're oil injected, they're pretty clean. You can see it runs pretty much as anything would, and, and it runs very nicely. All right, let's go to the helm. It's a beautiful day here in sunny South Florida. We're gonna run this boat out here and show you how well she performs. She runs very nice. Trim and tilt work great on the helm. The destroyer style binnacle control, this does have hydraulic steering. The shifts are very smooth and precise. We're gonna put it in forward and we're gonna just go out to the channel here on this beautiful day. Uh, our first run, we're gonna go up from hull shot, zero to 30. 30 is your optimal cruise on most boats. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna take her out. The hull shot's excellent on this boat. No problem pulling a skier. We're gonna lay the throttle down here and bring her up to 30. show you how well she turns. Very nice turning boat. Very smooth. We're gonna go right back into our wake. Very nice ride.
to bring her back to idle to show you that right after that nice run, uh, she idles very smooth. There's back to neutral, no stalling, no hesitation. Just a nice run. That was our cruise, 30 miles an hour, really good running. Nice P stream as you'd expect. That's telling me that the cooling system and the water pump is working well. All our gauges are working. Just awesome, fun boat to be out on. You can imagine being with your friends and family on this boat, really enjoyable. All right, let's have some fun. We're gonna give it the full wide open here and I'm guessing this boat will be 35 plus. Maybe we'll get close to 40 miles an hour with the 150. That's a very nice ride. If you notice when we went over our wake back there, no clanging, banging, very nice dry ride. All right, here we go. We're gonna lay it down and watch the whole shot. Very good whole shot on this boat, it's very quick. Well, there you have it folks you can see we turned just over 5,000 rpm which is the same as oem spec on a brand new engine for this model year uh, we nipped 39 miles per hour i bet you if i tried a little bit more i'd get 40 out of here which is moving really nice for the 150. she runs beautifully i mean what a great boat you can imagine being out here with your friends your family whether you're going offshore fishing just tons of space up in the bow Great electronics, VHF, all the gauges working, all the pump switches, live well courtesy lights, brand new Bluetooth stereo system with these big Kenwood speakers, nice trailer coming along with the boat, 120 PSI compression on every cylinder, just an awesome package. I hope you guys enjoyed the video tour. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Again, it's Peter with Wave One Marine, and thanks so much for watching the video.